I knew as a child nobody else would understand my home. I didn't understand my home. I just knew it wasn't right and it caused a lot of upset and frustration. There was nobody to help me or talk to. I remember my mum being hospitalised for the first time. Me and my brother were split up and sent to separate grandparents as we're too much to handle together. We weren't allowed to visit. My father was not sleeping at all and was in an almost constant state of delusion, experiencing distressing hallucinations and paranoia. Things would happen like, you know, our house would get raided or like there'd be like holes in the door, they'd have, have a big argument and I'd have to like get up in the morning and like go to school and just be like a normal school kid and not say anything. By the age of eight, I remember rejection from my mother and the beginning of her troubles in coping with her mental health and behaviour. The first time I experienced mental illness as a child, I remember sleeping in the same bed as my mum and being woken up in the middle of the night by screaming and crying. A sound I'll never forget. I became increasingly aware of friends' families and compared my own with theirs. Their parents woke up early and made them breakfast. My mindset was difference equals bad and being lesser than others. I've had that experience of being around chaos and kind of destructive behaviours but didn't know at the time that my parents really had mental health issues. Having no explanation meant I grew to fear my father's illness. It was the unknown. I knew he had bipolar but nothing more. I knew it was an illness but I didn't know what a mental illness was. Coming home from school to see numerous new locks placed on the doors in the house. My mum interrogating me and my brother about who we had left in the house and where the items were she couldn't find. As a teenager, it was frustrating. I often felt to blame for his changes in mood and responsible for solving them. I would often attribute these changes to the tiniest things that I had done or not done. Many social workers and doctors came through our doors from me and my brother's life. I always feel there wasn't as much support for us. And I think, even back then, I think if only we had a bit more communication and we understood each other and we talked more, I think it would have put me in much better stead and I wouldn't have acted up so much at school. When I recently heard about our time and the work you do, I was amazed. Had that have been available for me, I would have had a foot on the ground. It was a great feeling coming across our time recently, knowing that people other than myself acknowledged the void and support for children of parents with mental illness. I left that place feeling really uplifted. I was sad though because I thought, this is one charity that's doing it in the whole of the UK, like there needs to be more of this. Because there's millions of families with parental mental health, isn't there? And I thought it's so powerful and so important that like, it really should be in every single borough in the country.